Welcome to the video tutorials for your Glucomen Day CGM system. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to insert the Glucomen Day CGM sensor and how to start the session. If you have received your Glucomen Day CGM sensor kit, you should have in your hands the following items. Two sealed sensor assembly patches, two skin prep wipes, two over patches, two Glucomen Day meter test strip vials, and quick guide and instructions for using the glucomen day meter test strips. Reminder, prior to moving forward and performing the sensor insertion steps, you should have installed the app and paired the transmitter to the app. All the instructions are in the user guide and also summarized in the quick guide. To perform the sensor insertion you need a sealed sensor assembly patch, a skin prep wipe, the installed app a paired and fully charged transmitter that is set to be the active transmitter and the sensor insertion tool. Prepare these items on a clean, hard surface and wash and dry your hands prior to start. The intended insertion site is the abdomen or lower sides. Choose a place that is uh, easy to reach, smooth and not too hairy and at least 4 cm from an insulin pump or injection site. Avoid the area directly around your navel in the midline, uh, those that become creased or folded when you move, areas that are heavily scared, have a skin irritation or are in the way of tight clothing and belts. Areas which are too hairy should be shaved to better secure the sensor to your skin. Once you have selected the insertion site, open the skin prep wipe. Here it is and clean an area of 15 to 20 cm with a spiral movement. Then let the side dry for at least 2 minutes until it is totally dry. After the cleaning, don't touch the side with your hands and avoid contacts with clothes. Now I'm gonna put my shirt down for the sake of the video, but don't do this at home. While you wait for the insertion side to be perfectly dry, take the sealed sensor patch. Prior to using the sensor check if the pouch is damaged. In that case, avoid use. Then, open the paper cover of the inner tray, which contains the sensor assembly. There you go. Place the sensor assembly on a hard clean surface. The inner part of the sterile pouch is perfect because it was sterile until a few seconds ago. Take the transmitter. This should be fully charged and set to be the active transmitter. You can see how to charge and activate the transmitter in the user guide or in the system setup video tutorial. To attach the transmitter to the sensor assembly, insert the two arms into the respective guide slots here, with the ID side of the transmitter facing up. Lower the transmitter into the sensor assembly from a vertical position and press down until you hear a click. Like this. Now, take the sensor insertion tool and lift up the lever with one bump on it. When it's correctly loaded, this orange tab will appear. Locate the tab at the bottom of the sensor insertion tool and the opening in the sensor assembly. The tab shall go inside this opening. Just like the transmitter, start with the sensor insertion tool placed vertically above the sensor assembly, inserting the tab into the opening and then lower it downward until you hear a click. If the parts are properly attached, you will see no gap between the sensor insertion tool and the sensor assembly. If there is a gap, refer to the user guide to troubleshoot. As you can see, there is no visible needle. Actually, there is no needle at all. The sensor filament is inserted under the skin without any guide needle. Good, we are ready for the insertion. Now that the site is totally dry, we can insert the sensor. Remove the liner from the sensor adhesive patch. I suggest you to remove the bigger liner first and then the smaller one. If needed, use your finger to keep the adhesive patch from folding on itself while avoiding touching the center of the adhesive material. Like this. 
Apply the sensor insertion tool to the insertion site. Press down firmly to make the adhesive uh, attach properly. Don't worry, in this moment the sensor is not yet inserted. It is time now to insert the sensor. Now apply a normal pressure and press the second button, the one with two bumps. This sound confirms that the spring mechanism acted and the sensor is inserted under the skin now and this is virtually painless. To release the sensor insertion tool, press the release button, the one with three bumps, once and gently lift it outward. Smooth the adhesive to perfectly fit it on the skin, avoiding gaps and wrinkles. The sensor guide is still attached to the sensor insertion tool. Just lift up this tab and take it out. The sensor guide can be recycled as plastic. Remember to keep the reusable sensor insertion tool and do not discard this part. The app automatically detects the sensor insertion within one to three minutes. Um, the app will display a countdown of approximately 45 minutes while the sensor stabilizes. After these 45 minutes, the app will request a calibration measurement prior to displaying glucose data.